Hello friends, welcome. In this video, I'm going to work with the API resources. If you go to the Laravel documentation in the Eloquent ORM, here we have the API resources. And we need the API resources when we build an API and for the transformation or data. So let's go in our project and I'm going to, if you go inside the routes, First, let's see, here we have the api.php and here we register the API route. So let's remove everything here. And first I'm going to create a resource and a controller with terminal. So I'm going to open the terminal here. Let's clear this up and let's say php artisan make a resource okay so if you go here and we can generate a resource by saying php artisan make resource and give it the name and i'm going to name it this uh, post resource hit enter okay and also i'm going to create a controller for the api so I'm going to say PHP artisan make controller and I'm going to name it post API controller. Okay, let's close the terminal and here I'm going to register the route. I'm going to say route get slash post. And here I'm going to use the post API controller class. And the method is going to be index because in here I'm going to display all the posts. I'm going to create another one to display in a single post. So let's say a road get. And here I'm going to say slash posts slash and here we expect the id of that post and i'm going to use the post api controller here and the method is going to be show okay let's save this one and now let's open the post api controller Here, create the index method. So name it index, public function index, and I'm going to get all the posts. So the assigned post is going to be with post model. Import the model and say all. And now I'm going to return, not the view, but I'm going to return the resource we created okay so if you go here you can read about the so here we return a new instance of the resource to display only a single uh, user and here we say return a resource collection with all users in our case we have post so we can say return post a resource a static collection method and here we i'm going to add the pause with that if i save now and let's so in the essentials i have created three posts and we display it in the home page now if i navigate in the api slash post hit enter not spy but api and here it is the data with uh, id 2 and title is laravel post so here we have all the posts but this is not looking very nice so let's open the insomnia or you can use the postman i'm going to use insomnia here And I just installed, so for that I 
have this click open and I'm going to copy this URL paste it here we have a get and click send here and here it is data with a ID title body is published and image and also the created that and updated that now let's see if we navigate in this uh, post resource collection right now it's going to return the parent the array the request we added here so in our case we added the post all the posts and we can uh, transform this so if you go in the api resources here is a demonstration how we can uh, transform our data let's come here and let's say return an array and now how we can get the data just by saying this and for example the id the name and the email here in our case we have a title and title body is published and so on so let's say i want to display the id and i'm going to say dollar sign of this id and if i save right now and click send again here you see we have only the ids here id 2 3 and 4 because right here we display only the id we set the id and this id now we can change the name here let's say post id save it send again and yeah we say here post id uh, let's add also the title And it's going to be dollar sign this title and let's add also the image or is published which is going to be dollar sign this is published now if I save, come here, send again, and yeah, we have a post ID, a title, and is published, which is zero by default, uh, which is zero for them because we don't change that. Now if I say just, I want here to be just published, and refresh, yeah, here we have published. And now we can say, if this is published, also, I want to say uh, is published and otherwise not published. So we can do something like this. And if I save and come here and click send, we say we see here not published, not published, not published. Now, if I want to display the also the tags for this post, if you go here and navigate down there, we can have. Yeah, here we have an array for the user and we say posts, dollar sign, uh, post resource collection. So we need to create a collection for a tag and add it here. Let's do that. We can add also, we can say tags to be dollar sign this 
tags like this. And if I save and go to the Insomnia, click send. Yeah, we have tags and we have post ID 2 and tag ID 3. But let's create also a resource for tag. Let's name it tag resource. And now instead of that, I'm going to say what we have in the documentation. So a collection for the this resource and this post. In our case, we have a collection of tags. So tag resource collection and say dollar sign this which is this post and we have a tags relation and if I save now come here say send we see tags the same post ID and tag ID 3 okay now if I come uh, here go to the essential dashboard and if i go to the posts let's add one more tag here in the laravel post with that also the title in vue.js and i'm going to make this published click update okay now if i come here click send here is the laravel post which has published is published now we can see And we have tags here with ID Laravel. This is tag one. This is the tag two. And this is the tag three. We have three tags for this uh, post and one tag for the Vue.js and one tag for the in CSS okay for the Laravel post we have published published for Tailwind CSS post we have uh, published not published and the same for the Vue.js post published not published okay friends uh, we can uh, also So what we can do here, we can, let's see, we have post ID, title, published, and tags. Uh, here we can do more things. So if I go to the documentation, here we have a conditional attributes. So in this case, we have this secret, and this is going to display if the user is admin display this secret secret uh, value if not user is admin is not done is not displaying this one so in our case I'm going to say just for now secret let's say secret and this one is going to be displayed if this when dollar sign this ID because we don't have user is admin here. I'm going to say if this ID is three, and let's say is the secret value. If I save now, let's go in the insomnia and make a get request again. Let's remove, let's remove here the tags because it's going to, we are not going to see clearly and yeah now here is the post id 2 we don't see this secret if this post id is 3 we see the secret and the secret value and down there we don't see that okay friends you can do many things but uh, i just show you the basics and that's it about this video hope you enjoy and see you in the next one friends all the best thank you very much